Hey everybody, I want to talk a little bit about my Ram Eco Diesel. As you can see, I've got the Laramie Edition 2015. And I uh, really like the truck a lot. I've had it for about 70,000 miles now. And I use it a lot. I'm a general contractor. And um, I just had a transmission service done that uh, my son and I performed on the truck. And I want to give you some uh, feedback on it. Um, first of all, the truck um, manual does not give any specified service interval for the transmission. It's considered a lifetime sealed transmission. Um, and so that's according to the owner's manual for the Ram EcoDiesel. Um, if you go to the manufacturer's website who manufactures the ZF 8-speed transmission, um, you'll find that they recommend about 75,000 miles uh, interval for doing a service on the transmission, which is different than what Dodge, I'm sorry, what Mopar Ram calls for. And uh, so I just want to give you some uh, examples of what you will find. Um, my truck, um, my liquid diesel here, I've had, like I said, for a couple of years now, and I've got about 70,000 miles on it. And I decided to go ahead and do the service. I ordered the new, you have to order a new uh, um, new pan here, because the pan contains the filter built in. And uh, then, of course, what I did is I drained all the fluid out, pulled the pan down. I want to show you what I found. First of all, at 70,000 miles, here is an example of the fluid at 70,000 miles and I'll tell you that brand new when they put the fluid into the car or the truck the fluid is supposed to be clear okay so this is of course anything but clear um, it's fairly brown it's not quite black yet when it's pouring out you can see through it still but it's uh, definitely brown a, a deep brown and uh, that's what I found on 70,000 miles um, of fluid. Uh, then after I dra drained all the fluid, I ran it through um, in, you know, through a, fil uh, a funnel, and I had this inside the funnel. This was a uh, basically a brand new rag. And I just want to show you that I didn't really see much particulates. I didn't see like a lot of metal. This is the exact cloth that all of it ran through. And you can see not a whole lot of metal, which was uh, great when I saw that. I was concerned. Um, I didn't know what I was going to find. And very little of any kind of metal that was actually in the fluid itself. So that was good. Um, then I went ahead and, of course, inspected the pan itself. And first of all, you can see uh, there's the filter that um, the transmission pumps through and you can see that it's pretty dark um, it's not completely black but it's uh, fairly dark you can see some silvery stuff in there that's going to be metal um, looking at the pan itself this is like a little bit of the residual fluid left in the pan still not much is left in there you can still see it floating around a little bit um, but what we have is four magnets on this thing we've got one magnet here in this corner we got two large magnets here, the back end, and then we've got one more magnet here. That is a drain plug there. And so if you look carefully at these um, magnets, you'll see that there's quite a bit of metal uh, in that. Look at that. I mean, it looks like solder almost. There's so much of it. Uh, it's it's just they're caked. I mean, I don't know that it's really doing much anymore at 70,000 miles, and then these large ones are no better. They're just completely caked with metal um, at 70,000 miles. And for them to say this is a lifetime uh, transmission, and I guess that means lifetime according to their warranty. So as long as they're, until their warranty runs out, it's, it's uh, considered good. Um, look over here, this one, I mean, it just, just gobs of the uh, metal. Now, nothing, there's no 
you know, real particles uh, that are large. This is all fairly small particles, though there is a lot of it. Like I said, it looks kind of like so liquid solder. Um, I don't see any chunks of metal or anything like that in the pan. I've looked it over carefully. Like I said, I ran it all through the this pretty fine um, brand new rag shop cloth here. And as you can see, nothing there. Um, but I think that had I waited any longer, we would have started see, you know, having more wear and tear based on the condition of the fluid, based on all the metal in the pan. Um, I think it's maxed out at 70,000 now about, I, I drove it for probably 40,000 miles. Um, and I did not do any towing during that time. The, the last 30,000 miles I tow, um, a dump trailer that I recently bought right there. And I maybe have four or 5,000 pounds total, uh, on that trailer, including its own weight. Um, maybe twice a month for the last, uh, three or four months. And, um, that's about all the towing I've ever done with the truck. So it's maybe been out eight times, 10 times towing that, uh, four or 5,000 pounds total. Um, other than that, it's just been driven. Uh, I live kind of in the country, so I do have a commute. Uh, so it's mostly highway miles uh, that the car has been under. So this is kind of what you can expect. Um, I am really happy I did the transmission service when I did. And uh, this kind of makes me feel that I don't really want to trust the manufacturer's recommendations anymore. I think whatever the manufacturer says is the, you know, what they recommend, I, I would consider bare minimum anymore. Uh, because, of course, you know, I don't know that they really care much about if your car outlasts the warranty. If, if it outlasts the warranty, then, you know, you're just another customer that, uh, is not buying from them because your truck's holding up well. So to me, I think, you know, look at the recommendations more like at 50%. I think I wish I would have changed this fluid at about 50,000 miles. Would have been more adequate for my type of driving that I do. But 100,000 miles or a lifetime is just not accurate for this transmission. You must change the fluid. Uh, I would recommend 50,000 miles. If you're using it more towing than what I do, then you might look at maybe 30,000 miles uh, to change the fluid and the filter. Now, this I got for just a little over maybe 120 bucks on Amazon, um, the filter. And uh, for the fluid, I'm using the um, Amsoil uh, fluid that meets the spec. Here's the Amsoil um, ETF that I'm using the signature series and as you can see it it has the uh, the specs there that it meets for the ZF you can see it down there and of course also under um, the shell there as well uh, the, tw the 12108 ML and uh, anyway this is what we're using. I, it took about five quarts um, um, of fluid. I drained about five quarts out total. And then uh, you got to follow the procedure to put it back in, which is basically that uh, you can drain it when it's fairly cool. And then uh, wait until the temperature of the transmission. If you've got the Laramie edition, you'll have a temperature sensor right on the HUD of the dash of the dash there. And uh, you got to wait till it's fairly cool there, reading maybe more like you know 80, 90 degrees uh, on the transmission. You can go ahead and fill it up, and then uh, you have to basically start start the engine. Um, with, with the transmission full to the overflow bolt that you've used, the filler bolt, a hole. Um, and then once the engine started, you got to put it into drive for about five seconds with the emergency brake on, and then put it into reverse for about five seconds with the emergency brake on, and then put it into park. And then you got to run under the car and you got to ref you got to start to fill it very quickly because you only have maybe a couple of minutes before the temperature gets up to about 125 um, as long as you've got it full before 125 degrees fahrenheit um, 
then you are good. If you go over 125, then the fluid has expanded too far. You probably aren't going to get an accurate fill. So you want to fill it pretty quickly, but like I said, one to two minutes. So, you know, you're going to have to get another, uh, you know, the first time you fill it when it was cold, you probably can get two, two and a half quarts in there. And then once you start it up, it's going to suck all that fluid up into the, its own channels. And then it'll take probably another two and a half quarts or so. And you get that filled up until it's flowing out of the filler hole. And then you got to get the cap back on. And then uh, you should be under 125 at that point. And when you come back out to check your transmission, you can also, you know, plug in an OBD uh, remote and look on your phone and see. You can watch the temperature that way as well if you don't have the Laramie Edition or the Limited Edition should also have that same temperature sensor built into the dash HUD. So um, anyway, that's how you do it. And uh, if you got any questions, you can post them. Um, but this is what I've seen. I just wanted to let everybody know what you can expect from uh, relatively light driving with the Eco Diesel ZF8 transmission and uh, what kind of service that you should probably be doing. All right. Have a good one. Take care.